Hey everybody, Eric here from Lafix. Back at it again with another repair. Um, we actually got this HP laptop. It's a brand new one. It has Windows 11 on it. Um, but the, the customer actually just wants us to set it up for them. We wanted to make sure that it's all nice and smooth. You know how the setups are actually pretty straightforward um, for most of these. But we always like to do what's called like a clean install for them. Because there's a lot of bloatware that comes attached to it. And we would just want to kind of... Uh, make sure it's all nice and clean and if they have any extra softwares that they want to set up we can do that for them we do that for customers i actually did notice something really interesting so for these hp ones because they are very brand new ones uh, they usually do require like an rst driver we actually made videos about that you can go ahead and check them out i don't really want to go into that uh, we have lots of videos about talking about the hp ones if you want to go ahead and check it out um, I'll also link it down below, um, but we also have a video talking about the Windows 11 for login, how to bypass the login so you don't need to have a Microsoft account while getting through. Now, I do have a really interesting one here. I did find out another way to do it. It's a little bit more simpler, and I think we'll just make a quick video just really showing that and probably just end it there. But so we're going through the Windows 11 uh, bypass again. Uh, we're stuck at the Windows 11 screen, and this is what we get. So when you get to this screen, uh, you probably already put in your, your Wi-Fi credentials there, and, and then there's no way you can actually go around it. Um, I already talked about this in a previous video. You can go ahead and check that out. I just found another shortcut of actually getting a, around it. So this one is actually a kind of a big deal because normally when you do hit, if you see my cursor here, right? So normally when you hit Shift and F10, you get that prompt. But when you see every time I hit that, it tries to load something, but it's actually not loading anything. We could try the function key. It's not going to do it as well. There's no airplane mode on it. So there's no way to really disable the internet, at least through the keyboard. I even tried an external keyboard just in case, in case there was like another uh, driver or something going on with that. But I actually did find something pretty interesting that you can do it. So there's this little guy in the corner here. I'm going to actually zoom in. We see a little guy in the corner. He wants to help. So we want to give this guy some some credit here. So what is he doing in the corner? He's the accessibility buddy. And when you click him, he's going to bring up this really, really nice setting. So now what we can do, we can go into network and internet. And you see there's a Wi-Fi connection. Now if we go to the Wi-Fi connection, so I hope it's not too jarring, we can go to turn Wi-Fi off. And when we turn Wi-Fi off, what's going to happen? It's still going to be stuck there. Oh, no. But what you can do, since the internet's off, you can actually hit the back button here, and now it's going to actually skip it because it realizes there isn't a network connection, and then you can use it as a local user. You don't have to log in or set up a Microsoft account. All right, guys, so I've just shown you guys a quick little shortcut on how to bypass the Windows 11 um, account requirement. I have talked about it again in a previous video about uh, how to actually do it and what the other steps are taking a little bit more in depth if you want to go ahead and check that out go ahead i also if you're interested in installing a clean install of windows on like a newer laptop and uh, for some reason it can't find the hard drive there is actually something called a storage drive that you need to get we had lots of videos talking about that on lots of different models on that if you want to clean up any type of bloatware or or anything any type of software that's pre-installed on the machine to make it as clean as possible we have lots of videos talking about that as well so just wanted to make at least a clean one for this one to show you guys a quick one if you guys enjoy this video please leave like it really does help us a lot subscribe for more content we'll see you guys next video thanks a lot for watching take care guys if you have any other ways of skipping this outside of disconnecting it the internet uh, physically in there definitely go ahead and let us know down below all right thanks a lot take care bye